गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम विद डॉक्टर सुनील श्रॉफ हु इज दैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी एंड ऑल्सो द वेल नोन यूरोलॉजिस्ट एंड ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जन एंड मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी ऑफ मोहन फाउंडेशन लेट मी गो टू डॉक्टर सुनील श्रॉफ फर्स्ट वॉट इज मोहन फाउंडेशन why has this mohan foundation come up and how is it helping cadaveric transplant in india south india in the whole of india mohan foundation is a 22 year old ngo mohan is an acronym for multi organ harvesting aid network we work as a support group for physicians patients and the public and we promote ethical organ donation in the country For the last 22 years, we have done a lot of capacity building in hospitals, and worked with the government very closely to give a momentum to the whole disease donation program in the country. We have a law which accepts brain death as you know as 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 for organ donation. You know, brain death can be certified in ICUs, and one brain death patient, provided the family says yes to donation. provided the family is given you know support during the period of grief can give life, new you know new lease of life to multiple patients almost 8 to 9 patients and mohan foundation does capacity building by training these grief counselors the transplant coordinators to try and support the family to take this difficult decision of organ donation in the intensive care and that's what we have done and over the years dr sumana navin who is with me who is the course director has trained more than 2200 transplant coordinators dr sumana navin coming to you you are the course director in uh, uh, mohan foundation what are the courses that are available in mohan foundation and how do you go about attending one or subscribing to thank you thank you dr arvind Uh, the courses that we run are for training transplant coordinators who are really a vital link in the whole disease donation program as well as in living donation as well uh, so we have a one week program we have a one month program and recently we launched an online program uh, which is particularly exciting because it reaches out to so many more people not just in india in fact the program that we've just started has participants from uh, pakistan from qatar from uh, from malaysia uh, so you know and of course participants from india as well uh, so this really opens up learning opportunities and and i think looking at the isn educational in, uh, initiatives i think have uh, you know that's given me quite a lot of ideas as well in addition we run uh, workshops for icu um, uh, staff Uh, professionals and uh, we also have a retrieval uh, uh, program for uh, surgeons who want to learn about multi organ retrieval thank you dr shroff uh, to ask you a further question uh, what about uh, cadaveric transplants in south india i am told that telangana now is running on par with tamil nadu or catching up with tamil nadu as far as cadaveric transplants go while uh, kerala has sort of uh, slipped off the map what's happening out here what are your thoughts i i think you know tamil nadu as example was uh, you know duplicated both in telangana and kerala and telangana is doing extremely well we have counselors again supporting families for disease donation in fact we have two counselors through mon foundation uh, and given to jivandan and they do many counselings in government hospitals so telangana has picked up when we started in telangana in the way back in 2002 they had no donations and for almost 10 years it was moon foundation which was running the whole telangana operations so they had built up already you know a base on which the jivan dan which when it came up built you know started doing better and they had more counselors in many more hospitals and uh, because of the trained counselors the donation rate has uh, definitely gone up in telangana and they are almost on par with tamil nadu uh, kerala is unfortunate because there are some people in kerala some doctors who are a bit weary of the whole organization and brain death and they've challenged certain things and there has been a lot of knee jerk reaction without actually investigations into what's happening to kerala whether there's any wrong doing is happening or not and a lot a lot of these hearsay kind of things things have taken place in kerala and kerala has gone downhill but i think give it some more time i think kerala will bounce back because the will of the people in kerala is amazing there are you know you know 
villages and towns in Kerala as where everybody has placed for organ donation. So voluntary organ donation in Kerala is huge, it's a huge movement and I think it's just going to be a little bit more time before it catches up again. Thank you Dr. Shroff and thank you Sumana, Dr. Sumana for being with me in this interview. Thank, thank you. you.